Artificial intelligence is a new technology that is proving to be beneficial to everyone. Humans have long been fascinated by the idea of robots that are nearly indistinguishable from us. The most recent inventions can talk, walk, and express many emotions. Friedrich Kaufmann created the first humanoid robot in 1810. Later, many human-like robots, including female robots, appeared. In this video, let's see some of the most realistic female humanoid robots. But before we start, for everyone who's new to our channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Nadine The only public and generous robot is Nadine, but unfortunately it is a robot that commits massacre. Professor Nadia M. Thauman, on the other hand, designed Nadine's physique details. In 2013, the robot Nadine was built in Kokoro, Japan. Nadine is the heir to Hansen Robotics robot Ava, which was created in 2008. Furthermore, the Institute for Media Innovation at Nanyang University in Singapore developed Nadine's software strategy. The robot also developed strong human-like characteristics, such as normal-looking skin and hair structure. Furthermore, it can respond to various issues in multiple speeches and can recall the people as the source of its previous discussion. Nadine, the robot, is extremely friendly and can answer any question you may have. Furthermore, it can change its attitude in response to the discussion. With a total of 27 degrees of independence, the robot can freely change the positions of its top body and display a variety of facial expressions. Nadine was created using cutting-edge robotics. It is outfitted with 3D depth cameras, a webcam for input, and a microphone. It can handle individuals' special needs by reading novels for them, sending emails, and accompanying Skype tours. Sophia Sophia is the country's first robotic inhabitant. Hansen, a Hong Kong-based company, created the humanoid robot known as Sophia. On February 14, 2016, the corporation revealed and created this humanoid robot. In 2017, the robot was granted full Saudi Arabian citizenship making it the first robot to serve as a citizen of any country. Sophia was designed to resemble the inventor's wife, Audrey Hepburn. Furthermore, it possesses all of the glamour criteria such as a slender nose, high cheekbones, porcelain skin, a captivating smile, and gorgeous and vivid eyes. Not only that, but her eyes change color depending on the light. Sophia's abilities include attending two faces, maintaining eye contact, and observing people. Sophia's most notable feature is its lifelike skin and ability to imitate more than 60 facial characteristics. Throughout the film, the humanoid robot Sophia exhibits social behavior, interacting with society and questioning humans. Sophia was designed to be a good fit for healthcare, consumer assistance, and education. Sophia can also draw and color, as well as create illustrations. Hansen also establishes nine other robotic siblings after Sophia. Asimo Asimo is a humanoid robot developed in Japan by Honda in the year 2000. Honda began working on humanoid robots in 1986, with its first creation appearing in 1993. However, on October 31, 2000, the corporation unveiled Asimo, its first humanoid robot. Furthermore, Asimo stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. In addition, the name was chosen in honor of Isaac Asimov. The robot is on display at Tokyo's Mirai Kan Gallery. The humanoid robot measures 130 centimeters in length and weighs 54 kg. It also has a 51.8 volt lithium battery with a one hour backup. It also includes a processor, stack die, a memory cell, and a signal converter. Asimo can recognize walking items, stances, movements, sounds, looks, and surroundings. It can distinguish between appearances and mouthpieces. It is designed to assist and boost the population. It can dance, run, jump, and play soccer. Asimo is an ambassador to the automatic world and he has earned a variety of social impressions to awe humans about robotics. Honda worked hard on the robot after 2000, but in 2018, the company decided to stop further research into the technology and maximize the robot's lifespan. FEDOR The acronym FEDOR stands for Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research. It is also known as Fyodor the Robot. FEDOR is a humanoid robot from Russia. It is manufactured by Android Technics. After Kirobo, Fedor is the only robot to spend 10 days assisting astronauts on the International Space Station. The robot Fedor was unveiled in 2015 and has received numerous upgrades since then. Fedor, originally known as Robot Avatar, was designed for recovery purposes. It can easily replicate the movements of anyone wearing a robotic exoskeleton coat. 
Fedor, the robot, is capable of performing push-ups, blasting firearms, managing social media accounts, and driving a vehicle. Furthermore, the robot is specially designed to perform employment and transmit astronaut processes. In addition, Toyota unveiled the THR3 robot, which is related to Fedor. Erika Erika is yet another fantastic Japanese robot. Erika's name has been changed to Irato Intelligent Conversational Android. Hiroshi Ishiguro, Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory Director, created this humanoid robot. Erika, the lady robot, is said to be 166 centimeters long. It is regarded as the most beautiful robot in the world. Erika was designed to be the most advanced and wonderful humanoid on the planet. Erika, unlike Sophia and Asimo, is unable to walk. It can, however, interact well with others. Furthermore, it can change its facial expressions based on the conversation. For example, when it hears others, it winks its eyes and nods its head, which is quite interesting. Erika, the robot, has 15 infrared sensors built into her eyes. These detectors aid in the detection of any activity. It also has speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technology built in. Furthermore, it has 44 degrees of freedom on its face, neck, and waist. Erika, the lady robot, is currently serving as a news commentator. Yunko Chihira Toshiba created Chihira, a female humanoid robot. She is modeled after a young Japanese woman and is intended to serve as a greeter in shopping malls and other public places. The Chihira made her public debut in Las Vegas at the 2015 International Consumer Electronics Show. Chihira has received both praise and criticism since her debut. Some have praised her as an impressive example of artificial intelligence and robotics, while others have called her creepy or unsettling. Regardless of one's feelings about Chihira, she represents an intriguing step forward in developing humanoid robots. It is also known as a trilingual android because it can speak three languages – Chinese, Japanese, and English. In addition, Yunko Chihira, the robot, can also communicate using sign language. Furthermore, it is her youngest sibling's newest Aiko Chihira. Yunko looks like a 26-year-old woman and has a promoted version of device management. It has excellent interactive abilities, realistic moods, and pre-written speech rulings. In addition, the robot is outfitted with various technologies, including a language synthesis system and standard language processing. Yunko Chihira, a robot, currently works as an excursion mentor at Aqua City Odaiba, Japan's regional visitor headquarters. Its two other siblings work as receptionists and fitness nurses, respectively. Kanechi Hiro is also a promoted version of the Ginoid robot. Kanechi Hiro, unlike Yunko, can be controlled in any language. The Chihira family is an excellent tourism and travel industry model due to their smoother activities and understanding abilities. It will be interesting to see how Chihira grows and what role she eventually plays in society. For the time being, she is an intriguing curiosity that will elicit interest and debate. The Chihira isn't the only humanoid robot to emerge in recent years. Jia 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 is also known as the Chinese robot goddess. It is China's first humanoid robot. Jia Jia, who was revealed in 2016 and created by the University of Science and Technology in China, is widely regarded as a stunning woman in China. Depending on the situation, the robot can speak and respond to people. Chen Xiaoping, the producer team's leader, declared that robots could perform and transmit basic tasks like waiters in restaurants, clinics, and homes. It has several human-like characteristics. The most unusual are eye movements and lip synchronization. Jia Jia is entrenched with speech generation algorithms and facial distinction technologies. It can grab various emotions, feelings, and traits. Then, with a sprinkle of humor in its speech, the robot named its creator its lord. It's amazing to think about how humanoid robots can be used. These machines are becoming increasingly versatile, from greeters and public relations tools to assistance for those with disabilities. It will be interesting to see how they continue to develop and what new roles they take on in the future. What do you think about these impressive humanoid robots? Would you like to date any of these female humanoid robots? Let us know in the comments! For more such uploads, stay tuned and subscribe!